Welcome to Steph Reacts. We're going to react to another episode of CP's podcast on Cat Fiend. But before we begin, we are going to listen to our daily facts of the day. Did you know? Did you know that Marla Gibbs continued to work as a flight attendant for two more years after being casted on a hit TV show? I didn't know that, but now you do. So, let's go. Bum, bum, bum. The dream team, Tom Brady. Yeah, they yeah, called him the Black team. Jesus. That's really what they called him. Mind anything popping up in that browser? Yeah, when I speak about Michael Jordan, I'm like, I Not don't yet. know what I associate with his personality, like outside of playing basketball. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like LeBron has like a public facing. Jordan was cooler than us, and you felt that, and it was like, dang, he's over there, we're over here. Right. LeBron is like, hey, and he just feel better about, you know, who you are with LeBron. Jordan made you know, like, buy my shoes because you ain't shit. Like, I need them. <laughs> I need the shoes. That's a good point. I feel like everything's gone that way, though. Like, people want to feel accessible. Yeah. Oh, so so social, social media has done that. Yeah. It's made, it's made the world smaller in that sense. Now we can actually... The perception with Jordan, I guess, Jordan wasn't as friendly back in the day um, as compared to LeBron being friendly with current players that he played against, current opponents and stuff like that than Jordan. I grew up in the, I grew up in the year that all I know is LeBron. I haven't really knew Jordan like that other than the YouTube highlights and stuff like that. So I know that Jordan is a awesome player, but it, it just seems that LeBron is more outgoing than Jordan, you know? Yeah, we don't need to be friends with LeBron. Can you imagine if Twitter was out when we were kids and we could tweet at Shredder after Ninja Turtles went off, like, fuck you, Shredder. You think you're better because you're Shredder, but you're not. You're a freaking asshole. Oh, man, what? Twitter in the 90s would have been that freak, Nick. Oh, man, what? Oh, uh, uh, Clinton, Lewinsky. That would have gotten mean. Mm-hmm. I'm, I think Twitter's the worst thing in the world. Okay, here we go. And I said CP. Hey, just so y'all know, too, the CP podcast is also now available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever the fuck else podcasts be at. Even where they hang out at. Podcasts be hanging out at the bar. We there. Podcasts at the amusement park. We there. Podcasts at the festival. We there. It's everywhere. Okay, there's some go people ahead. in there now. Okay. People are on there right now? Mm-hmm. For a sec, just... Uh, and wherever the fuck else podcasts be at. The thing is, with having a podcast, I can agree that it is really awesome to voice your opinion, just to have a community to listen to and interact with. Because you could have persons in the comments giving giving you some great topics just to talk about, and I really appreciate that. Hopefully, I can reach the point where I could just turn on the camera and just talk to you guys and just and just talk about daily stuff, just regular stuff in a day-to-day basis. Now, mainly the stuff that I like to talk about is sports. You know, I'm a big LeBron fan. Yes, I admit it. To me, LeBron is my GOAT. I know the debate between LeBron versus Jordan, Jordan versus LeBron, Kobe versus this, Kobe versus that. My thing is with Jordan, Yes, Jordan was a great player. I respect his dominance in the league and everything. But it, um, to me, you cannot disregard what LeBron has done, given given the fact that he has faced so many great teams in the finals. And I feel as though we don't really 
put that into account when debating LeBron, LeBron versus Jordan because LeBron, he faced the Spurs when he was just a young kid in the league. Although, Ooh, you know, he just, you know, this, it is although um, I think it was his fourth year in the league. He had, he had carried his team all the way to the finals. Although he didn't win, that is just something incredible. You know, we have to put LeBron at a standard as that. Although he didn't win, that is still incredible because a lot of teams, a lot of players couldn't carry their teams to the finals. So we, we got to really put that into account, you know. But let's go back to the podcast hurt that bad but ooh, and both of those eliminate pain let me know when we're ready and when we're live and when we're so they can hear you now yeah y'all can hear me now what up though welcome uh to Hold to on. the okay never mind someone's gonna get 50 cp is one of the be the best comedians out there in my opinion if he just have the more opportunity to showcase that i think a lot of persons know who cp is but it's just a small amount of people know how funny CP is, in my opinion. He needs to be in more movies and more shows because he really is funny, in my opinion. Him and Greg and Brent. Our popcorn box, what's that? $50 popcorn box! So Shout out to Popcorn out. World. If you didn't get your $50 popcorn box, you need to holler at my guy LeBaron. Uh, not that it's, it's really my fault because I got overwhelmed with the $50 popcorn box orders. Here's what happened. I used to be on Twitch, okay? And then it spilled over into um, Roast This, and I was giving away $50 popcorn boxes. And LeBaron gave me this big budget to give away all this popcorn. And then people just kept winning it. And it was just like, man, this is hard for me to keep track with. I can't lie to you guys. And then, um, you know, and then I think I got love life. And then I was like, fuck them popcorn boxes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think that's really what happened. And so I apologize. And we would get your 50 dollar popcorn box uh, to you. So if, if I remember you, if you jump in my DM and then you still in there, like, where my 50 dollar popcorn box from a year ago, then I know we cool. But if you don't, if I don't remember you, you might have to win it again. You might have to get it, you know, win a 50 dollar popcorn box again. And I used to do it in my cash app. Mm. And so that's, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, we'll figure it out. Fifty dollar popcorn box. Shout out to, to LeBaron. It's so hard to say fifty dollar popcorn box that I just like the way I'm saying it. Fifty dollar popcorn box. Fifty dollar popcorn box. Okay, but how fast can you say it? Fifty dollar popcorn box. Fifty dollar popcorn box. Fifty dollar popcorn box. Fifty dollar popcorn. Ooh, box. <laughs> damn! You sound like an. It comes out so natural with her. Oh my goodness. Operator, <laughs> you sound like the real operator. Welcome to fifty dollar popcorn box. I can't do that. My, I, I, I think like the gap and my tongue together are doing their own fifty dollar popcorn box. Fifty dollar, fifty dollar popcorn. I can't do it. Anyway, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the CP podcast. My name is CP, and this is the podcast. Uh, of course, always with me with the knowledge and the power, Maya. Hello, people. And then of course we got Amir, uh, operating as the Zordon for these Power Rangers. Rangers, you are now live on caffeine. That's what he says right now. And we live on caffeine because this is a whole new thing we're doing, the live caffeine version. So shout out to y'all. Y'all are seeing the podcast in its rawest form. You know, we're talking about $50 popcorn boxes. I can't believe that you could say that so fast, so good. $50 popcorn box. $50, $50 popcorn box. Do it again. $50 popcorn box. You're saying 50. Wow. 50. By the time I get to the fifth, I have to go with $50 popcorn box. I can't even, I can't. Do it again. $50 popcorn box. Faster. Oh, man. Yeah. Now you put me on the spot. $50 popcorn box. 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 See, I'm not even... $50 popcorn box. $50. Okay, fuck this. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, Amir, you try it. Uh, hold on, let me see. $50 popcorn box. $50 popcorn box. $50 Thank box. you. No man can do that. <laughs> it's a fitty. fitty. He, he said $50. <laughs> $50 popcorn. What, what, what is $50? We know what, what $50 is, but you can't go everywhere saying that. You can't go to the bank. Can I get $50? They're going to like, sir... Sir, we think you're saying fifty dollars, <laughs> but we're not quite sure because you came in like fifty dollars. So anyway, shout out to everybody else. You can win a fifty dollar popcorn box. I'll make sure of that, and uh, I will let you guys know how to win that. Um, I was doing it in my cash app back when I was broke. I need a couple of dollars. You do that. I send you the fifty. But no, nah, that's not the case no more. I don't want it to be taking people's money. Uh, so we gotta figure out another way to do it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody who donated money before. You know, a lot of weed. 
A lot uh, of weed during the pandemic, y'all bought me. Have you tried the caramel corn? Popcorn or caramel, caramel what? corn? What? Have I? Yeah, he got like 40 different variations of caramel corn. So good. Man, did you try the kettle corn? Or did, did you, did, right, the cheesy caramel corn? I only do sweet. You don't I do, the, do the you don't sweet. do a little bit of savory with it? No. Oh, it's man. All, only sweet. Now, that's a combination. If I go to the movies and everything, the cheesy popcorn mixed with the caramel popcorn is the best popcorn you could get. Actually, you know what? I, I will post that in the community to see if you guys like the cheesy popcorn with caramel or the regular popcorn with caramel. We will see. We will see. Jesus Christ, what are you like a serial killer? You remember on uh no, not like that. I know you're not, but you remember on uh Problem Child 2 when he when the serial killer that he was looking up to kept eating the moon cakes. <laughs> remember that? He's like, I want moon cakes. He's like, the guy wants moon pie. Whatever. Anyway. Anyway, I don't know who remember who remembers that, but that was one of my favorite movies, Problem Child. And Problem Child too. I just want to be bad so bad, but I was so good. I got on my fucking nerves. I never did want to, you know what I'm saying? I never was bad, bad. I wanted to be bad, like Problem Child. Oh, yeah. I used to be like, oh, oh he is going crazy. My mom did not play that. My mom, what the fuck? Oh, no, uh, <laughs> nothing. I just was trying to be bad a little bit, but. Nope. Yeah, you can't do that with no black mama. Mm -mm. She'd be like, yeah, this is a good movie, but I beat your ass. You'd be like, yeah, you right. <laughs> you are correct. You, hey, you know what? You right on that. So. What we doing on caffeine, man? We actually, uh, I got to get into these comments, man. Are there any good comments yet, Maya? I know you have them. Black parents versus white parents. Not all white parents are like that, but there is a difference in terms of strictness and the tough love. I must say, it's really, really different in the com in the black community. Someone came here to roast, Mr. Red Baron. His Kevin name is Red Samuel. Baron? Red Baron? Yeah, Mr. Red Baron. Ain't that the pizza? I think so. Yeah, it is. Nigga, shut up. You named yourself after a frozen pizza. <laughs> That's the most struggle shit ever. Hey, this is uh, Air Fryer uh, Air fryer Nuggets. Yeah, I just want to say, uh, <laughs> I'm here to roast y'all. Yeah, yeah, this is Air Fryer Nuggets. Yeah, Air Fryer Dinosaur Nuggets. My middle name is Dinosaur. <laughs> First name Air Fryer, last name Nuggets, middle name Dinosaur. Shut your ass up. Anyway. People say things. They're making fun of your appearance. That's. Oh, that's all they're saying? They say you have big eyes, but that's so you can see better. Right. I'm an eagle. I'm, I'm the eagle of people. I'm the eagle of people. I can't tuck my eyes in. Who said this? Who said this? Mr. Uh, Mr. Red Baron. Tuck your eyes in. Tuck your eyes Yeah, shut up, Dinosaur Nuggets. And there's nothing wrong with dinosaur nuggets, but when you live by them or on them, that's, that's, hey, that's under the bridge living right there. Four or five dinosaur nuggets nice a week, you are under the bridge living. Now, if y'all are aware, we don't roast on this show. I mean, y'all can roast in the comments all you want to, especially your little, if, if they're whack, I'm going to leave them there for people to hate. You know, and also remember to react, too. If you like uh, something, drop a flame. If you, um... Don't like it, drop a potato, drop a potato, you can get the fuck out. Uh, you know, but on this podcast, we talk about like real weird stuff, right? But not even weird, just like I don't want to talk about celebrity gossip. That's gonna change, right? Mm -hmm. All that shit gonna go away. You know, next week Kim is back with Kanye or you know, somebody beat up Pete, who knows? You know what I'm saying? But the world is gonna be here and it's been here for so many years, and there's so many conversations that we could have about things that are going on. Um, my dad got jealous because he saw my mom on here. He was like, man, because remember, I was supposed to come yeah. when my dad was here. But it was his birthday. He wanted to relax. We just announced the show about us. He was feeling good. I'm like, dad, we got to still work, you know? So I, I wanted him to come. But he has real stories, though. Like, you know, my dad was telling me today about how he was a truck driver. And so, you know, they, you know, he still is a truck driver, but he drives like Tri-County, like, you know, tri state yeah. area you know like he's like indiana and ohio michigan new york that little loop right and so back when i was in college and you know maybe coming out of high school he was like coast to coast right and so he said one time he was in the desert i don't even want to say what city i don't want to get him in trouble 
Um, but it's some somewhere where we kind of have always heard about stuff too. And he said that they gave him a time, not a place, to meet a guy that was gonna escort him into a place. Mm. And he said that as he was driving through all his electronics shut off. Right? Everything shut off, right? Like the radio shut off. Only thing that worked was the motor. Right. The, the radio shut off. His phone went off. It was completely dead. He drove through a neighborhood. He said it looked like a regular neighborhood. This is in the middle of a desert, a neighborhood where he didn't see a soul. Mm. He didn't see a person at all. Pulled up back into this, you know, where he's going to drop the load off right now. When you're a contracted truck driver, you don't know what your load is. Sometimes you got to just meet up with who, whatever he said. Like Sometimes he'll have like. He had phones or he'll have like there's a new Nintendo Switch coming out. I remember he was like they was on him about that because truck drivers were trying to pick off a couple of them for themselves. So, you know, your truck was monitored and, you know, shit like that. He's told me before. Right. Like, you know, you got to be at this time at this time, whatever. That's that. This was nothing like that, though. He said that when he backed in, they told him that he could not look back. Hmm. And they had a military dude come in the front with him and sit there and talk to him to make sure that he did not look back to see who or what was unloading or un or loading. He said that they took stuff off the truck, put something on the truck, and they welded the truck thing shut, basically, and told him to take it to where they wanted him to take it to. They told him he would never find this town again. It's not going to show up on any map. Okay. I mean, and that's... Wow. That sounds like a El Chapo type mission. I don't know, boy. A lot of things, especially in the world, we don't even know really what's going on. I don't know, boy. Something something don't sound right about that, in my opinion. It, like, this was a contractor or this is the U.S. government? Uh, I want to say it's U.S. government. I don't know, you know, but um, of, of course, you know, they could use a, a third-party company yeah, to, like, a... to, you know what I'm saying, to contract you just to, you know, but it was like, you know, you just hear about stuff, underground bunkers that order crazy stuff, and you're like, well, who the fuck is living down here that's getting... He said he had a Fruit of the Loom um, shipment that had escorts, like police escorts for these Fruit of the Loom that sound like a cover up, like they just use a a popular near brand just to say they delivering something, but it could be something else, you know, you never know. It could be drugs, it could be guns, it could be bombs. You never know what it what it could be, you know, it sounds like a cover up for something else. Quote unquote, he's like niggas draws in here. Why the fuck are they? Like serious shit that's going on. Like you don't hear about stuff like this. I would assume that, so. Police escorts. I would think drugs. That's my first thought. Mm. Is that this is a cover for drugs? Now, really? police official probably not, but unofficial. I don't see why they wouldn't escort. Draws though. I mean, that's a good cover for drugs, right? I mean, I no guess. Look in I that. guess, but but you know what's crazy is like, you know, truck drivers. They aren't like pilots. Like like there's a lot of. Uh, mail and stuff that gets flown, right? There's a lot of yeah. cargo that gets flown, but the majority of it is on the ground, and the driver is usually not attached to whatever operation is going on. You're just a driver who is able to get this stuff from point A to point B. You're just a transporter. And you, so you see a lot of, like, you know, and it's just, like, it just got me thinking, like, we are so worried about outer world shit when it's, like, there is not a continent on the earth or a country in the world that we even know 30 percent about for real yeah not it's not out there you know what i'm saying they're not gonna put it out there they're not gonna put all their business out there to us at least someone else knows about it but us i mean why would you, you open yourself up to get robbed that's what i think is that there's you more information you put out there the more you open yourself up to so be you robbed, so hacked, plausible whatever. deniability i don't know so leave me alone yeah, but we I just don't want to know. I, but everything. that's the thing, though. These kind of things, I always come to this. These kind of things come to that what you don't know, you don't know, and then what you begin to know, you don't know. Now, mm. what you know, you don't know can drive you fucking crazy. I should not Think know it, it if, if I'm not going to know. I should yeah. not know it exists if I can't understand the full process of it, right? It's like, you know, UFOs, USOs. I, I, need, I need to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is going on? Because it's not fair 
Because, like, who named Earth Earth for real? If aliens came here, would they think to call this shit Earth? Or would they be like, this is rock number 70 billion? You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, we don't know. Who the fuck decided that this shit was Earth? Who was the first person that started saying that? Then, who named all the other planets? So it says Earth is the only planet that wasn't named after a Greek or Roman god or goddess. And it could be English or German. It's similar. So we don't know, according to live science. Come on, man. How the hell do we not know where the name for our planet came from and whether that's its real name? See, the planet Earth is older than the concept of anything being named. Oh, yeah. Well, that's English is in Earth. CP got some deep thinking going on. Some really, really deep thinking that we don't have the answers for. And sometimes sci scientists today would still backtrack on their fact that they would give in 10 years, 15 years ago. So we just don't know. Basically, certain things we just don't know. So certain people will, including myself, would think spiritually, you know. We believe that there's a God that actually created the world, but then some people believe in the evolution, the Big Bang Theory. It's just a whole big confusion to what it really is. But I know what it is, but the, the, the people as a world, the people as a, as a whole, it's still a deep conversation for that, you know, but I know exactly my beliefs and I believe what I believe, but it's just something that would be an ongoing conversation, would be talked about for many years. You know, even back then, a lot of people thought, thought that the world was flat back then, <coughs> Kyrie Irving, but um, to this day, we know that the world isn't really flat. We, we learn that because, you know, we see images, we see people um, all around the world. If it was flat, that means there would be a, a certain point. If you if you reach out to a certain point, you would fall. But anyway, back to the, back, back to the podcast, back to the podcast. So before we know like Latin or it's terrestrial. So they had different names for every language. Every language has a different name right, for Earth. Right, but, but that's what I'm saying though. It's like what, the original, that every, there's shit, there's not a, there's not a, um, how can I say this? Everybody can't have a name for you. Mm -hmm. Your name is Maya. Mm -hmm. It's been established that your name is Maya. On the day that you were born, your name was Maya. People can't have, I don't give a fuck what language it is, right? There's not a, like, what's what's African for Maya? Or what's Swahili for Maya? What's, no, it's Maya. And then yeah. you decide if you want to, you know, I'm Christopher. You want to take the Cristobo? Because you, so, you told me that's what it means in Spanish. But if I say Christopher, you know what the fuck it is. If I say Chris, you know what that is. If I call myself CP, then that's what I, w I want to be called. You know what that is. I'm establishing that. It's like but you're not, the one thing that yeah. should not change across languages is the word for the planet that we all have to live on. I don't know. Because in England, they say you're called CP. Like, this is my friend. He's called Nick or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's not who you are. You can't say I am CP. It's I am named CP. So your essence remains unnamed. Well, I mean, that's true. And then I've heard that in some Asian countries, the nine months in the womb is considered nine months on Earth. And therefore, you know, you get that nine month credit added to your age. Is that right? I've heard that. So look that up. Okay. That what? I did not know that. Really, I did not know that. Hmm, that's a daily fact for the day. That's another one. That actually brings up, somebody asked about Roe v. Wade. You said what? Somebody asked about Roe v. Wade that was overturned. Yeah, I got an email about talking about that. I'm not as educated as I want to be about it. And, um, you know, we can get into it a little bit, but it's politics, you know, and it's like, 
you know, uh, they put the icks in tricks because, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is shit that we can't control. And, you know, nothing is done with the with the intent. Oh, that's how South Korean age works. Yeah, so. Oh, is that? Because I'm looking at yeah. a wiki right now. Okay, South Korean. Very good. Yeah. So, you know, it's just, yeah, you know, there are, there are a lot of different interpretations that kind of across the board, we should kind of figure that shit out. Even like time zones, right? Like it's some places that just don't practice daylight savings time. Yeah, that's going to get really inconvenient. Yeah. Because there's some places that do practice and some places. All right. Now, I always, I always personally thought about what if we as a people messed up the timing of everything, you know? Although we say that we are in the world of 2022. Because we messed up with, because we dabbled in with daylight saving time, would not make, over time, would not make our years inaccurate? You know? Will not messed up the way scientists would actually calculate date even from the past to now, past to present, will that make everything inaccurate to some degree? You know, I always thought about that. That's a really, really deep thought right there, you know? Places that don't, and it's actually supposed to work with the way the sun comes up. Well, and with our chronological date that we have, and so, you know, you, you do 24 years of not setting an hour back, you could lose a day. Um, mm. I don't know if that's how that would work because didn't they always have it in Arizona where they didn't have? I don't know. I just made that up right now. Yeah, I think. I yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do all this calendar math, but you know what we could talk about is we don't have to go into Roe v. Wade specifically. Okay. But we could talk about when do you think the soul enters the body? Insolment, they call it. That people, different people have different ideas of when the soul enters the body. Mm -hmm. Other people believe there's no soul, so that's not even an issue. So we don't have to get into uh, Roe v. Wade at all, because that's that is a little messy. I think that... Yeah, uh, Young, though, I did hear about some uh, some country in Africa that's going by a different year in time than us. And they're saying it's Ethiopia, but I'm not sure if that's what it is. Yeah, it is. But it is? What yeah. year are they at? Uh, 95. They're... They said Bobby Brown is killing it. <laughs> 2014, I think. <clears throat> Damn, 2014? They yeah, having a good-ass time in 2014. Yeah, they're on a different calendar. What? Can you imagine 2014 again? That was a dog. And then... Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I need to Google that myself. Hey, Google, what year is it in Ethiopia? It's Saturday, the 28th of May, 2022 in Ethiopia. Hmm. That's... That's today. Anyway, I'll probably have to do some more research on that for myself. They got 2016 to look forward to. You know how many Drakes dropped? Good for them. Okay, so apparently they have a, a different calendar. It's actually 2014. Everything is made up. It's the latest viral obsession. Let me pull this up so y'all can see. Can you imagine flying over there, getting your plane ticket, and then you can't fly back because that flight took off seven years ago? Well, I mean, it makes sense. We would have had, we've had different calendars for a long, long time, and then they sort of merged, and we decided that we're going by this calendar. Yeah, I think that, honestly, I think that people towards the Northern Hemisphere should have a different calendar because technically this shouldn't have a shorter year. Like, Antarctica would have a shorter year than Mexico. Oh, because it's by the equator? Well, well, it's... well because it's, it's, it's by a bigger piece of the, the world. Right, so that mass would travel a lot longer around. Meanwhile, at the very needle tip, right? Was well, that why that the northern, the places in the far north, they have sun around the? 
Well, that's yeah. why. Yeah, Earth, is... I mean, it, technically, Earth still spins the same around, like regardless. It's just more of the amount of sunlight you get. Right, but that's what I'm saying. So, theoretically... but the sun doesn't necessarily theoretically determine the how day. long the day is. Right. That's how we concept, like the concept in our well, mind is. Right. Yeah, because the the term of it is daylight, right? But it could also be day night. Yeah. Yeah, it's a twenty four hour period. Yeah, yeah. it's always it's, it's twenty four hours. Period. But is it twenty four hours for them? Being here's the thing, twenty four hours to what though? Right? It's twenty four hours for you to get back to the same point that you were on the Earth twenty four hours ago. Correct? Isn't that what it is? It's to for it to make a um. What's the a full, what is it? Full, the, for the Earth full to spin. revolve around the sun? No, no that's three hundred sixty five days. Yes, yeah, for it to spin around oh, okay. its axis. Yeah. On its axis, on its one, whole time. one one full cycle on its axis is twenty four hours. hours. It takes right. three hundred sixty five point two five days for it to go around the sun. And so you're telling me that on the very top of the Earth, it would take you twenty four hours to get back to the same spot, right? I'm reading that right now. I'm not expert in this. As a whole, rotates 360 degrees every 24 hours. So technically known as the North Pole is slower. So it, wait. The surface speed of the Earth's rotation at the top is slower than that of the vast majority of other places. So it's somehow rotating slower at the top. I knew it. I, it's like there is a distinct difference between distance from the sun and... and it, it's like, I can't explain it, but it's like the smaller the point on the circle, somehow it should revolve quicker. I think what you're getting at is the the tilt. So considering where the tilt right. is. Right, because it's not like a, The spin is a little different depending on where the tilt is. It's like if you looked at a basketball, that, that bottom point. Yeah, it's is, going crazy. Yeah. It's falling. It's like, ooh. Yeah, so it's like, it, like, but it, it's funny because technically a ball is the same shape. All right. the way around. But when you put your finger on it, you give it an access point yep. immediately. You give it a, a reference point to spin on. Everything else is is spinning, but and, and you can spin that ball at any point. But that point that you choose to spin it from is going to be like the hot point. Right? <coughs> it seems to It seems to make up for it by traveling faster at the equator. See? At the North Pole, the distance around the Earth. So the Earth rotates the fastest at the equator and slowest at the and North not Pole. at all the top and bottom. And so that's what I'm saying. Like I know that I may not be right with which one is spinning the fastest, but well, you you got it right that it would <coughs> it would have be, been different days if it did not it correct for itself. Right. So yeah, that's a good question. That's Man. like you could if you were. Studying the sciences, you could like write a thesis on that and like get your degree. Yeah. By figuring that kind of stuff out, that's what people do. People are just like, "Hey, what's this?" And right. then they and then like the the whole idea of, of of unpacking it using the rubric that they teach you to use about how to unpack stuff over your whole, you know, three hundred, four hundred level college career is like, yeah, put it all into figuring out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know how many skin cells we lose a day. You know what I'm saying? Based on a mathematical equation of how many skin cells you lose in one spot, which is a percentage of the skin. It's like, it's so, it's like, dumb. people get degrees for the dumbest shit, for real. Because it's a lot of hypothesizing and guessing into these science degrees. And then. Fox, I'm not, I'm not hating on anyone that gets a degree. I always commend persons that actually stick it out to do four, five, six, or even eight years of schooling. I always appreciate you guys. I even tried to go back to school, but you know, things happen and you lose motivation for it. But um, to me, the end goal for school is to survive and earn as much money so you can provide for yourself and your family. I believe if you can find a way to provide for yourself and family without getting a degree, that is still something that should be, you know, accepted in our community and even praised. Everyone don't need to go to school all the time, you know. If you're good at something, why don't you perfect your craft and do it, you know. Everyone is good at something, so everybody don't have to go to school. They get out there and it's just a lot of trial and error, which I feel like anybody could really do. 
a lot of hey, trial and error. The the I think the part that makes it legitimate is that when you do the trial and error and it continuously get the same results. Yeah, that's when yeah, it's, it's that's when it's no longer a, a concept. It's actually something that could be proven. True, true. But what I'm saying is the process that it took to get to that fact. They make it seem like <clears throat> it's so technical and so deep. However, that job is about being wrong ninety nine percent of the time and being right one percent of the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That like like the whole job is about being wrong. It's like yeah, yeah it's like yeah, well it if is. you have a theory, right? How can you? It's like well prove that theory then, that it that it actually. They works. don't want okay. So people want to support their theory and be right because yeah, it is about being wrong. But a scientist who's wrong, well, he's ruined his whole career. Right. So he's gonna even if he was wrong, he's gonna defend it to the end, and it's mm -hmm. kind of kind of slow down science. Exactly, and it just feels like. It's just like a, a weird space to get a degree. And imagine getting a PhD in 1988 about technology or about um, medicine. And then here you are, still a PhD doctor in 2022. And you're like, Advil? What the fuck is Advil? Let me see that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it changes so much. That how could you be a master of these sciences for real? Did you ever see that show Rome on HBO? Nope, because if I felt like it was trying to be a fake ass Game of Thrones. I I saw that on Netflix. To be honest, I really I think it was Rome. I think it was the same thing. I have to check it out. I wanted to watch that. You know, it's like a documentary. I think I will check it out. Thrones, and we don't play that. It came before Game of Thrones. Well, I feel like Game of Thrones came out with such an impact <laughs> that anything that ever resembled it, we don't play that. But go ahead. Okay, so they had these people who were like doctors or philosophers, and their whole job was to read the signs. So they were kind of like they're learned people, but they were like, okay, we have to read which way the birds fly, and that'll tell you what's going to happen in the battle or which way the gods are thinking. Mm -hmm. So like this was a whole field of study for like thousands of years this person who read the signs that somehow got deemed ridiculous at some point yeah well because we can't tell the future by which way the birds fly but that's the thing though can we like who decided that we can't and i'm not saying that we can i'm saying who decided that we can't determine it's like dog like sometimes when i play call of duty i look at they have birds on there and i wonder like man i wonder if it's a hack in this game where it's like more bugs flying around a house that got somebody in it or the birds are flying like i wonder how deep into the cold they have everything mapped out and so you look at like what's going on with our ecosystem and you're like man maybe the birds are flying south 15 days earlier because it's about to be yeah you know what i'm saying you that know? makes sense well you you could probably tell or you could have some inkling of maybe weather patterns or something by the way the birds fly but as far as how a battle is gonna go i don't know right 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 right. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Th those things are like up to chance and you know what i'm saying that's like gambling that's yeah all that it's is. gambling that's all that is is gambling yeah and they didn't they didn't quite understand random numbers back then mm. randomness is a thing that we didn't start getting till like the 1500s and so they didn't really understand gambling fully. Right. They thought like, oh, if you lost, the gods didn't smile upon you. Who in my constituents? Yeah. Have pissed off the gods. Like, nigga, no, nah, y'all just wasn't fast today. That's crazy. Augury. The practice was known as augury. With the L? A-U-G-U-R-Y. Augury. And so I'll bring this up. Oh, oh that's some bullshit. And, the, I mean, this guy got paid a lot of money, and that was his job, to be like, yo, the birds fly this way, or And imagine liver. getting that deep into that, where it's like, yo, like, I mean, here's my thing. Don't ever think for one second that these people weren't eating the same kind of food and being dulled and being um, frequency deleted like we are. So they're in tune with certain aspects of our creator you know the creative space and the the physical and spiritual space was a lot more connected back then um than we probably are now well they would their instincts maybe before this but their instincts would be more like animals and they could read them whereas our instincts are totally dulled by distraction what do you mean by that like 
Okay, so an animal. We're still animals. This is what I believe. I believe that we are animals, and therefore we have some sense of, okay, there's... We are animals. We are mammals. And I do I do feel as though she's going to hit a point that is going to make sense to a lot of people. Because I believe we have a connection with animals, you know? We have this thing inside of us. But we are one of the... The, the speech the species that has the ability to think for ourselves that's what makes us different than any other any other animals on the planet so I do think she's going to head in that direction the way I, I am thinking but I cannot get it out right now danger there's instinct so that instinct which a lot of people have been trained to ignore I think that more often than not it's actually correct like if you see a person, and you don't know exactly what about them you don't like, but you're but you, something sets off. You're like, oh, I don't yeah, want to deal some with this people, Some people be ugly. You'd be like, nah, fuck that. God wouldn't just make you ugly. The devil made you. You you know what I'm saying? Some people be like, yeah. Other people, you just don't have a good vibe about. Like, yeah, vibe. You, like you bite kids. Like, yeah. people turn their back, you be biting their kid. You know what I'm saying? Some people just, you know. I remember this lady used to hold our baby back when my oldest daughter was... A baby and her breath was so every time she talked my baby used to shit and i know that's not a coincidence you know what i'm saying i'm like yo <laughs> i kind of got a shit too listening to this lady talk and smelling that breath it just was weird i don't know that's really i mean you're right there are entire fields of study that just go by the wayside like we're like oh yeah this whole field which a thousand people dedicated their whole life to oh it's just nonsense forget about it it's nonsense yeah yeah, of course, because it's it just bullshit. It's, it, here's what happened. The shit wasn't right like four times in a row. And they were like, bring me the auger. <laughs> he come in like, what's going on? What the fuck is wrong? You specifically said the birds. Like, Get this motherfucker. We're not going. You know, that's, that's, this is where argument came from. Because then he would, <laughs> he would fight back like, no, because you ain't said, motherfucker, fuck you. Arguing. Oh, Arguing. The Greek word argury, which means some bullshit. That's what arguing is. We just figured out some other shit. Do you want to have your mind blown the fuck out right now? Oh, my God. Tiana Trump here? (laughs) (laughs) What happened? No, what happened? Do you know what the I Ching is? The who? The I Ching. Yeah, like, you know, when you just got to scratch. Sometimes you got to wash your ass. That means you get the I Ching. You be like, my ass is I Ching like a motherfucker. Oh, my God. No and no and no and no. (laughs) <laughs> um, okay, so in China, mm-hmm. China is ancient, um, and this is our level of civilization. For all we know, about 10,000, 12,000 years ago, there was an advanced civilization that got wiped out. We don't mm-hmm. know. But this particular thing called the I Ching is 64 hexagrams that can be rearranged. And the thing about it is there's something to it. So the way it's supposed to go is you throw these... Um, these coins and it'll come up heads or tails and depending on what you ask it it'll come up with this one of the 64 hexagrams which is like here's your answer to this and when they did terence mckenna talks a lot about this you ask it and it starts moving no um you you throw these you throw these coins and you're going to get lines so let me see images okay so this is oh this is an ebay thing i don't want to i don't want to so here we go. It's called the Book of Changes. This, this Somebody say you're talking about an eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> Demar, you stupid as hell. Go ahead, man. Oh, my God. Um, so I'll just bring this. So something like this. Oh, that's a poster. I don't want to talk about a poster. So basically, the lines will be broken or unbroken. And it's this super complex thing with a lot of different uh, possibilities. And the way it works is we don't know, question mark, we don't know. But it gives you an answer, and more often than not, the answer is related to your question. So now we're going into, did we find, like, a glitch in the matrix where we can ask whatever, if we're in a simulation, it kind of actually makes sense. I like the fact that their stuff looks like matrix code, too. You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing. You ever wonder what happened to the Mayans? Yeah, I wonder. You know what I'm saying? It's like not one bone, 
not really any remains like that. Like a whole civilization gone. All their stuff is here. Everything they brought, right? Did they go into the forest? They were just, they abandoned it? That's what, this is what I heard. That they had, I mean, look it up to make sure I'm not just spouting out nonsense. But that if they were just like, yeah, I don't, I don't like this civilization anymore. But honestly, but no, I don't but, know. Right, but I'm just saying, like, what do you mean they didn't like the civilization? Like, they didn't, these were the people of it. That's like saying, like, they just find a bunch of iPads and like, where are the people? You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody who dropped their fucking iPad, these niggas is gone. The late eighth through the ninth century. Something unknown happened to shake the Maya civilization to its foundations. And by nine hundred AD it had collapsed. Somebody asked was, you keep looking at it, Maya. Somebody asked me, I have a serious question. Do you believe in the Bible? I think that the Bible like anything else in this world is full of real facts and real stories. And also some things that aren't being uh, told the complete whole truth on. Um, I think that to trust anything that you've been taught completely and blindly is foolish. So I think that the Bible is real. I think that we don't know why, though. I think that the Bible is amazing, but I think that who wrote it is not up to us really understanding who and why it's heralded as what it is. I think that... Um, People who claim that they're religious and all of that are followers. Anybody who has any idea of, quote unquote, having it all figured out is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, anybody who knows anything knows that we know absolutely nothing. And you can spend your life searching for the questions, which is really the only way to spend your life. If you understand that there are things to know. You know what I'm saying? It's things yeah. to know that you have to seek out and we have to break through all of the noise that we're in in America to be able to really tap into whatever frequency is out there that's trying to connect in contact with us. I think that other countries are feeling it way more than we are. Do you um, know about the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Nag Hammadi text? The who? The Nag Hammadi text. No, what's that? So the Dead Sea Scrolls were actual, there were Jewish and Hebrew manuscripts that were found. They were found like, it says 1946, 1947. And these were books that they're just like, you know what, maybe this doesn't go in the Bible. And the same thing with the Nag Hammadi scriptures. So there were a lot of different competing sects of Christians back in the day and pre-Christians. Like, if you don't know, that was my question that CP actually answered. This was live on Caffeine, and I asked him the question, do you believe in the Bible, CP? And that was his response. Or do you believe the things that happen in the Bible? Is it compatible with the world? You know? And I just wanted to hear his thinking. And I do I do appreciate that he was able to answer it. Now, where we are going to get... Where we are going now in this segment with Maya. It's going to be really, really interesting to, to find out why certain things happen the way it is. And, and people believe that. The Bible, it doesn't have all of the the written material, you know? But we will find out right now. Jewish but sex? that's the thing, though. They didn't make it in. Right, because, I mean, really, like, if you look at the Bible, it's pretty much like one movie. Think about a movie that you like and how that movie zooms in on one family in one town, in one gang, in one situation. Got beef with another thing across town. And the Transformers is fucking with these people. And then they tearing up cars on the freeway. And Bad Boys too is trying to find Mendoza. But then it's, you know, it's like all the other people are just collateral damage. Those people have lives too. And they're going home to stuff that's going on. And they're not privy to whatever you think is the most important thing in the world. And that's always been the thing, the vanity of humans mm -hmm. to want to document our story, to make it be the story, but it's just a story. You know what I'm it saying? Is, yeah. Well, cause here's the thing is if you can make your story, if your narrative wins, then you kind of win. Right. Because we, we're going to die at 80 or a hundred. But if you can get people to tell your story, you've lived on in a Forever. weird way. Yeah. Immortal. 
Yeah. I mean, you're not technically immortal. You're not technically no, immortal. Right. People say that. I'd be like, nigga, I'm dead. I can't be immortal. But, right, you become, you know. Um... Right. I do believe what they are saying is really, really true. I always say, if you lived on this earth and what you believe in and what you stand for lives on beyond your time, you actually left the mark. I don't care if it's good or evil, you left the mark and that will be, that mark will stick to your name. That will be like a legacy that will be not carried on all the time, but it, it's going to be a story that will be told for years and years to come. For good, for bad, for evil, for worse, you know, it will always be told years to come. Just, just, I don't know what it is, if it's your spirit or what. Like, somebody like Martin Luther King lived his life so important that he's immortalized. Yeah, that's what I meant. Immortalized. Yeah, immortalized. Good you way. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's what I meant to say. Way. You know, um, but his story, you know, they talk about, you know, he was, he, was a, he was a cool guy, but he had his problems just like anybody else. It doesn't matter. That stuff gets pushed to the to the to the back when you control the narrative. So here's a question about the metaverse and all this new technology. So you have been exposed enough online that they'll be able to make a replica that is maybe like ninety percent CP. Mm -hmm. So if that, I don't want to say creature. I don't want to say person either. I don't know what to call it. If that... I remember watching this thing on Netflix where. It's a social media type, um, how, how to say it, it's like a, whatever you search on and you go on, on the internet, it's going to take data away from that. It's like an artificial AI of yourself and over, over the time and years, they will be able to track and trace your i would say how to say it it's like an analytical thing where if you do certain things within a time period and over time it's going to frame that it's going to take data away from that and that is going to be yourself artificially and that's pretty pretty unique and that opened my mind to do a whole new thing to know that they can track us based on our habits, based on what we did in the past to now, if they have that data. And, you know, it, it could be it could be creepy, but it's really, really advanced to that point where they, they, they can do that. So I really, really was, was um, surprised and shocked to know that that could happen, you know? That being exists in the metaverse, but it doesn't know what foods you like to eat. It doesn't know what porn you like to watch. It doesn't know your heart heart. Is that still CP or is ju that just, what is that? A replica of CP? Okay, so let me break it down to you like this. Um, I love how you said what kind of porn I want to watch because, motherfucker, we're going to have to talk. Call me and i tell you what to search for. Don't be out here searching for bullshit. Somebody looking over your shoulder at the fake CP, looking at crazy shit. Like, nigga, we, we, we own this side of... Anyway, neither here nor there. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is this. There are versions of you. Mm -hmm. This thing would be an entity. It would be artificial intelligence, right? It would be intelligence. Because, I mean, even, you know, the artificial intelligence was only a thing when, when the intelligence, when AI was <clears throat> was not as smart as us. AI is catching up to just be, being in um, synthetic intelligence mm -hmm. is what I think the next wave is going to be. Synthetic intelligence. Maybe. It's mm -hmm. not artificial anymore. It's going to be synthetic. It means that Intel is Intel. There's nothing artificial about Intel. If 4 plus 4 is 8, if a calculator says it and if I say it, it's still a fact. Right. That intelligence is just still intelligence. It may not have as much as I have and be able to recall as much as I have because the, there's no computer that can compete with the recall of the brain because we are a, a computer. This is a neuro, you know, webbing of electrodes, uh, whatever the fuck. But the point I'm trying to make is 
that fake CP would be a collection of things. It would. Be, can I tell you what it would be? It would be. And this is going to fuck people up. It would be what you wish you would what you wish you were. Mm -hmm. See, the knowledge and the intel that they gain will be only on what you put out there. Yeah. So it, it would be a mirror of your social media interactions and your web searches. And, you know, it would gain a brain through that. It would look like you through pictures of, of thousands of pictures that it takes of you from different angles. You know, and it would be what you have put out into the world. It would be your brainchild. OK, so you know what I'm saying? It would be your monster. The CP that people have in their minds, that is not you. It is me. It's it's what I've chosen to allow them to see, right? Like before mirrors, we only could live in each other. We only had our opinions of each other, right? Mm -hmm. You knew you were beautiful because the room lit up when you walked in, right? So, you know, what I put on Instagram, what I put on Twitter, what I put on YouTube, things that I want people to view me as, I'm not putting up pictures of me in my pajamas or me on the toilet. So, you know, all of that bullshit, the shit that I don't want people to see would be completely wiped out. This CP would not know that at all. It would only have reference to my flyest points and my, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, or imagine an, an AI of Kanye mm -hmm. and what he's put out into the media and how he would have to watch that monster be that yeah. monster based on how the computer would al almost algorithmize his next move, right? I know I'm saying words that don't exist. His next move based on where his previous moves have been, right? That's kind of, that's what we're trending towards. And I mean, people would have to deal with that person. I think that that's a, that would be the future of therapy is to see your ego. That's what it is. It's your fucking ego. It's your ego. It's your there. ego alive. So, so on the flip side of that, the most extreme example, because this is the most extreme, is that we only see the worst parts of Hitler and we don't see his good parts. Exactly. We don't see that he exactly. was nice to animals. It's right. All, he's all evil. He's right. The embodiment of evil. Nigga probably could rap like a motherfucker. Low key, you get him a, <laughs> to the hip, the hop, the hippie. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But it's like, yeah, exactly. You know, and so an avatar or an a synthetic intelligence of Hitler would be this evil thing. And he would be yeah. very upset with his interpretation, right? Like most of us would, because that's not how I really am. That's not how I feel all the time. But it would be, my guy would be just a roasting, maniac, loud, crazy, but that's not my 100% personality. However, it is who I choose to come into this physical experience and fight the world with. Oh, so that is CP. Like we were talking before, like this person is called. Right. Like in French, it's a je m'appelle. So mm -hmm. you would say, I am called. Mm -hmm. So that is what, that is I am called. And your true essence was never known to the world. And it was never even known to you, perhaps. Right. Well, I think that your true essence, we're always trying to fight against our true essence, trying to be this thing that, you know, trying to be the thing, our our, you know, um, call into society, our, you know, but we never really get a chance to, you know, admire our true essence. We don't even let each other fart and shit. Like, we don't even let each other, like, be humans for real. Like, my dog was at a dog park. He's running around. I'll tell you this story. Mm -mm. He's running around with this little dog, another Frenchie, and he was a girl, and she was, like, had a nice little gray color, and she was cute. I know he thought she was cute, and then she just started shitting. And I'm like, oh, man, I felt bad. Like, damn, bro, I, I, I knew we we thought she was cool, but this bitch just started shitting. And then he was still playing with her. And I think he was even more turned on by her realness. You know, and it taught me something. Like, dog, we the ones who fucked up. He done made a friend. This bitch done shit on the first date. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna let people shit on the first date? Well, because she could show him, look, my diet is good. I'm mm -hmm. healthy. Doesn't my poo smell so good? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Max was like, ah, oh, hey, 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 I'll tell you something. I like that bitch. I'm like, Max, stop. I like that bitch. She just mad. She just shit right there. I like. I was like, hey, you know, because it really is a bitch. Don't, don't, don't cancel me. Okay, so this is the last thing I'll ask on this. Mm -hmm. So in Star Trek, when they transport down to the surface, mm -hmm. they are making a replica of the old version. So they're, they're, so this, this is sci-fi. They're not like transferring atom, uh, transporting atom from atom. 
in the sci-fi logic of Star Trek, they're making a exact replica at the surface or in the ship. And that... no, I don't think so because remember they used to die. Remember, there's always one person who went down there with them who didn't come back. He was always an extra. He materialized down there and he died. I think that this is more about the light that they were in, right? So that's like a technology. Mm -hmm. They were in some kind of light, like, and I think that that light was, um, it. There's a light inside of us, right? Like it's like a light. I don't know if it's by our heart or what, but it's an actual light. Like we are bioluminescent. We we just don't know it. You know what I'm saying? But there's a like a like a light. Like there's a light inside of you. Um, so maybe they tapped into that kind of technology, that source light, that mm -hmm. could that could regenerate something, a person. And we this is CP's podcast. As you can see, he talks about everything, um, conspiracy, everything like that. And I will give you my thoughts about this. I really I really, really like this aspect of CP because he opened up and he just talk, just regular talk, you know. And I just wanna wanna say that podcast is a really good platform to do that because you know when you know us from YouTube and stuff like that, we only show you a certain aspect of us. We only do certain things. But we don't really open up to you guys 100%. But a podcast would allow you to just lay back, chill, ask questions with the fans and stuff like that. And you guys play a really good role in doing that. Because you guys make the podcast interesting by showing out questions to us to read, to us to give feedback on. And I really appreciate it. Well, this is the end of CP's podcast episode what i believe i will react to more videos in the future so stay tuned until next time this is your boy steph reacts peace